What's going on guys? It's Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and in this video I'm here with my friend Chelsea and we are doing a long exposure uh, kind of creepy ghost portrait uh, like the one that you can see behind me right there. Uh, so basically what we're doing, I've done some long exposure uh, tutorials before. This one's a little bit different because I actually want her to stand in one spot for a longer period of time. Where in the past, I've kind of wanted the subject to run through the frame so you don't have any ghosting effect. Uh, in this case, we actually want that. So what she's gonna do, I've got a four second exposure on my Lumix G9 that is just out of frame here. And we'll take the picture, she'll walk back for about half of the exposure. So for about two seconds, she will stand perfectly still like a statue. Uh, so we can kind of get that detail uh, in that right side of the frame. Um, as my lights, I've got a Paul C. Buff DigiB 400 that's about at quarter power. And I've got the new foldable uh, beauty dish by Paul C. Buff with the grid that comes with it attached just so I don't get a bunch of light flooding all over the background. Uh, and then behind Chelsea, I've got a just open strobe with a uh, brown gel, it's technically called chocolate, and that kind of gives us a neutral tone, kind of a children of the corn something or another. I'm just making up words now that are horror films. Uh, anyway, so we've got that. We've, we tried a couple different colors. We landed on that one because it kind of gave it a little more disturbing, uh, you know, kind of final, final image. So again, what we're doing is we've got just a two light setup. I do have, uh, you can see the backside of this V-flat here. That is just kind of making sure none of the light from the background uh, bounces off the white walls that are to this side of the room. Uh, so it just kind of mitigates any of those reflections. Uh, and then I've got a V-flat in the corner back there doing the same thing, just so I don't have any, any reflections, kind of trying to reduce as much kickback to keep the background as dark as possible. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media, and also check out Chelsea. I'll put her name in the description and across the banner here. Uh, she's super awesome and does some amazing makeup tutorials, so definitely check her out, and I'll see you next time.